Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, just a second. I'm messing with my phone a little bit. Sorry. All right, coming around. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. My phone is just acting up. And my thing is a little bit crooked. And I touched it a second ago and my phone turned off. So I'm like... I'm afraid to mess with it too much. Okay. Good enough, people. I don't want to uh, keep having to restart this video. Anyway. Hi, guys. Okay, you guys. Um, I have to apologize because I should have I should have been on almost two weeks ago. Um, especially with this. Um, wait a minute. See if that's no. I need to come up a little bit. Just a second. Let me bring it back a little bit. There we go. Especially with this. Um, there we go. Especially with the winners of the last giveaway. I am so sorry. Really quick. I needed to decorate for Christmas. I had done so many Christmas DIYs. I needed to decorate for Christmas. I started decorating and I got obsessed and that's exactly what happened. And you know, then you have to decorate and then you have to clean a little and decorate, clean and decorate. Cause as soon as you take things off, you got to clean it. So I got my whole house decorated in about a week and a half. Usually I take a month to do it, but I did so many DIYs that I felt a little pressured and I like to have everything done by December 1st. And anyway, so this is why I'm like a week, not two weeks, maybe a week and a half out late that I should be. I also have a Dollar Tree haul, but first we're going to announce the winner of the last Dollar Tree haul that I did. Okay. So, and I won't go through um, all the winnings because I went through that last time. So you guys know what you guys got. Okay. So, um, okay. So the winner of the last one is... Well, you know, maybe I should show just because it's been so long. Let me just show really quick. Uh, Healing Ways Herbal Book. This is fabulous. Uh, we got a caboodle. Um, and in the caboodle, you have a pink caboodle. Um, and the person who won already said she wanted the pink one, so she got the pink caboodle. This is a uh, Echo, um, Echo Sponge. Echo Tools contouring sponge. Love this. I contour my nose like down the center here, here in my lip. It works really good with that pointer. I love that. Um, this is a highlighter and an eyeshadow by e.l.f. And then this is Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette. Isn't that nice? Only eyeshadow palette of Hard Candy I ever found. That stuff does not get to Vegas. All you New York girls or East Coast girls, you guys be getting that stuff. We don't get it out in the West Coast. And I watch all the West Coast uh, girls and guys um, videos, and they don't, they're, even in California, they're not getting it either. A bunch of the hard candy, just here and there. Anyway, um, one of these soaps, peonies, uh, it's a vegetable-based soap. It's really nice. Peony, a peonies um, fragrance. Then you have peonies, and, it's peonies and pear, peonies and pear bath bombs. And you see how everything's all pink and matchy? I love it. And then uh, pink cactus water wipes. These smell so good. Really nice. Look how pretty they are. And then um, one more uh, facial wipes. Those, these are facial wipes. And then you get one more peonies and pear facial wipes. So two packs of facial wipes. So. Let me put all this away. And I think I added that book. Did I have that book in there last time? I can't remember. Anyway, so the winner of all the goodies is Lisa Can Canteras. Lisa Canteras. If I said your last name wrong, I am so sorry. Canteras? Lisa Canteras. Um, and she had already said she wanted the pink caboose, uh, caboodle. So she got the pink, the pink caboose, the pink caboodle. So congratulations, Lisa. Um, you know what? Below, go ahead in the subscription box, box, click on my Etsy store. For some reason going to my Yahoo from here, from Yahoo 
from YouTube isn't working. Everyone has been successful going through my Etsy. So below, it's a clickable link. Hit my Etsy shop. And then when you get to my Etsy shop, there'll be a, a home page there. On the right, it'll say contact. On the right, right hand corner. Just hit contact and you'll be able to leave a message. Okay, and leave me your address so I can get all your goodies out. Okay? Okay, congratulations, uh, congratulations, Lisa Contreras. I cannot talk today, so we're going to see how we're going to get through this. Okay, before we start the Dollar Tree haul, there's a couple things I just want to show you from the 99 cent store, you guys. 99, well, it's not 99 cent only, but 99 cent store. Okay, you guys, look at these mugs. Aren't these gorgeous? It's on both sides, too. It's the blue truck. Is that the truck? Oh, it's not even the blue truck. It's a, some type of a blue, one of those old-fashioned cars, but it's not the truck. But I don't even care that it's not the truck. Let me make sure that that one's not the truck either. I thought this was a blue truck, but it's not. I still love it, though. It's an old-fashioned car, and it's that real pretty light blue, and it match, matches my whole pink shabby chic Christmas. So I picked up... Um, Four, five, six. I picked up four of them because I have this thing set up near my coffee bar. So these are sitting at my coffee bar. They match all the pink shabby chic stuff. This color does. I love it. And then I bought two more just for me to have because I love how these are huge. I love the weight of them. So they're kind of like the same weight as those um, gnome mugs from Dollar Tree. That's how the the nice weight and the how large they are. I like the way they feel in the hand. So I picked up two more. Now, I picked up two of these from 99 cent store, and I, if they would have had more, I would have bought more, especially for gifts, and just to have a few more on hand. Look how flipping cute this is. This is totally on my uh, hot cocoa coffee bar. Hot cocoa slash coffee bar for Christmas. And I love it, because look at everything. It's that blue, beautiful blue color, and then look at the pink, the pink gnome. I love this and it has candy canes in it because it's it, that's I'm putting candy canes in both the ones I have kind of on my tiered tray right in front of you well you can't see it but and then one other thing I want to show you I'm totally taking apart my tiered tray here okay check this out isn't this cool let me come back it's pink too see you can put a bunch of water and ice in here and drink out of it if you want but I'm not using it for that, you guys. This thing is... So, I should have bought two, though, because I would like to drink out of one of these. Anyway. This is so cute. I thought this might look good at my ho my coffee slash ho hot cocoa bar. So what I have in here is are those um, pods. The pink ones. Mm. The donut blend pink pods. For your, for your Keurig or whatever one. I don't have a Keurig. I have a pink one, but it's not a Keurig. But it's pink. I don't know what brand it is. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Bella. But anyway, it takes the pods. And I, put, I thought, how cute would it be to put all the pods, store the pods in here. And then this also goes on my three-tier tray that's next to my hot cocoa station. Well, it's a part of the whole thing. So, anyway. Love it. Okay, let me put that up here. So, oh, let me take Lisa's name so I can make sure I have her name with her stuff. Okay, all right. So let's continue on with the Dollar Tree haul. I just want to show you those few things from um, the 99 cent store. So check the 99 cent store out. Okay, um, I really overbought on these because my whole tree is done. My whole house is decorated, and I still had bought in some more of these. This haul was almost maybe over the last two weeks so I hadn't had my tree completely done so I didn't know how many of these I would need so anyway but you know what these are also good for if you have if you do gnomes and different um different DIY so I'm glad I have a couple of extra okay I don't know why I keep buying these because I'm insane I have way too many of these but I think there's a few things I think are the best deal for Christmas. One of them are these hats. These are so flippin' adorable. The other good deal I think Dollar Tree has, I don't have them in here, those ballerinas, those clear ballerinas with the little fur skirts on them. I, I, those are 99 cents. Those are one of the best deals for Christmas, and this is the other best deal for Christmas, in my opinion, are these. 
and I picked up one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I picked up five more, and believe me, you guys, I have, I probably have 20 of these, but I put them on my tree, I put them in wreaths, I put them, I have so much, I put them in so many things, so I do use the heck out of them. But look how gorgeous these are, these feathered. And this has been around for two or three years, but I just think this is the best deal, one of the best deals for Christmas. I mean, that's crazy. Look how beautiful those are. So my tree has an obscene amount of these, and I love the rose gold. I bought a ton of rose gold. I bought a ton of white, and I bought a ton of the gold. So I saw four more there, and I just thought, I'm getting them <laughs> because I'm obsessed with them. Do I need any more? No. This is the other good deal, I think, um, at Dollar Tree, because it's so beautiful, are these. These crosses. Aren't those gorgeous? Now, they're great for the tree. They're great for wreaths. They're great for swags. Everything. But these are also good for all year round. When you're doing DIYs, these are gorgeous, too. I love crosses. I love all kinds of crosses. I think crosses are just beautiful. Um, there's another one of these. So I guess I got six. Okay, um, these are beautiful. I had to find a place for these. I cannot put these back in this bag. Okay, I picked up three. And I do a pink shabby chic Christmas, and my Christmas tour is coming up soon. I'm just getting all my pictures ready. Um, and this year, you guys, I promise, I know the button to push to make sure that the pictures don't go super quick so I can hold off for like eight or ten seconds on each picture. So, believe me, that's what's going to happen. I figured out my software. <sighs> anyway, me and the software. Um, look how gorgeous these are. They're like an Aurora Royale's pink. There's kind of some other colors going through it, too. Is there? Yeah. So, it's like a pink, but it's Aurora Royale's. So there's other colors coming through it, too. So beautiful. So, I picked up three pinks. That's all they had. If they would have had more... You guys know I love stuff like this. I would have bought more. And you're like, girl, why? Because I like to decorate, you know? I do a pink shabby sheet Christmas. My craft room's pink. Um, this stuff can go on my art studio. This can, I mean, I just, oh, my, my beauty bathroom. So I have a million places this stuff could go. And I don't always put a flower or anything in there. I just use them as little vases, as decorative little decor pieces. Okay. So let me put these back in here. I will be a glitter bomb when I'm done, but I just call it fairy dust. Okay, let's put that behind. Okay, next. Oh, now, I, I just used this today, and um, I hauled it a few weeks ago, but I want to let you guys know, this Tony eyelash glue, let me show you what it looks. Okay, it's called, it's the like the Tony eyelashes. This Tony eyelash glue, Get this in your life. This is the bomb. I used was taking like 30 minutes to put my eyelashes on. I thought it was just me because I was new at doing eyelashes. No, it was the damn glue. My glue sucked, okay? This is nice and sticky, um, but not too sticky that it's hard to get it off. I can just pull my eyelashes off, and my own eyelashes don't come off with them. It does not irritate my eyes, and I'm super sensitive. This stuff is the bomb. I put it on on both eyelashes. I leave it for maybe a minute. And so while it's, you know, getting tacky, I might go ahead and do my eyeliner and I'll do my mascara on the bottom. Um, maybe do my lips or some blush. And by the time I'm done doing that, like a minute, both of them are ready to go. And I put them on and I just tack, tack, tack down. And if I mess up, I can pull it up and then tack it back down and it stays. This glue is awesome. And it does not irritate my eyes. So if you see this, and eyelash glue, if you go to Walmart, it's like 5 or $6. So you guys pick these up. I picked up 5 or 6 of them. Because I thought, if it's good, I want a bunch of them. And I'm glad I picked up the five or six that I have. So, just want to let you know about that. Because I've heard a lot of people haul it and they're like, I don't know if this is going to be good. It's the bomb. Like, I have never tried the lashes because I like the, the long ones like I have on now, the dramatics. And I've never found the dramatics. I've only found some shorter ones. Those lashes must go quick because I've never seen nothing but the small ones. And there wasn't that many of those. Okay, so I picked up, uh, how many did I get? One, two, three, four. I think I picked up five, so I took one out of here. Of these. Okay. 
And what this is, is um, it's a the car chamois. Yeah, the microfiber car chamois cloths. You guys, these are good for um, gnomes. They dye up beautifully. If you want to dye them with um, like the writ dye or whatever thing you want to dye it with, it dyes up beautifully. I did this pink shabby chic gnomes from these. Um, these are great gnome beards. These are great. You can make um, so much stuff out of this stuff. You could use it as fur for around the collar of your gnomes or anything you're making. This is fabulous. The other thing that's really good for fur is those micro, um, those dust mops. They look like fur. You guys, I, I only bought one. I used it on all of my, um, I have all these deer that I got from the 99 cent store and I put a fur collar on all of them. It totally just makes my, all my deer look like I spent like $10 a deer and I spent $1.99. So not this year, last year. I don't even know if they had the deer this year. I saw in a video that they had the deer this year, but by the time I got to 99 cent store, there were no more deer left. So I don't know if they just didn't come here or if they just never got, I'm not sure. Okay. I finally bought these because they finally came here. These are old. I mean, people were buying these last year and at least at my stores in Vegas, I finally found them. Oh, and the, these cloths right here, um, I would pick, if I would pick, if you're going to, if you do DIYs, if you do gnomes, you do a bunch of different DIYs, I pick up four or five of these at a time because they don't always have those. So when you want to do a DIY craft or do something with them, you're not always going to find them. So there's a point where I couldn't find them at, I have three stores I go to constantly. I couldn't find them at any of the three stores. Okay. These little, um, houses, I thought these would be so cute in a tiered tray but I've already have a bunch of other cute stuff for your tray. So hopefully I can find a place for these somewhere in my Christmas decor. But this is not just for Christmas decor. You can have it up all year round. But I just thought because I do a pink shabby sheet Christmas, it would match my decor really well. These little houses, aren't they so cute? And you put a little tea light in the back. The battery operated ones. You know what? This might be a cute, I'm looking at the top of my refrigerator. This might be a cute little village for the top of my refrigerator. I have like two lanterns up there right now and two deer with that big fur collar on top of my refrigerator. And then these might look cute up there. We'll see. This says welcome. I did buy them originally for the tier trays. And then... And I considered buying two of each so I could have like a really a little village. But I have so many villages now. I don't know. I thought just get three for your tear tray. And this one says love lips here. The other one says welcome. And, okay, I got two loves lips here and then one welcome. So that it'll look like this, you know, a cute little set together, you know. So I'm going to leave those out because I'm probably going to decorate with those too. Okay. Throw that bag over there. And you guys, this haul is kind of big, so I didn't say get tea or coffee, but get tea or coffee. Okay, I picked up, I think, like four of these, and I have a ton of these, but I love them. Hey, Duchess, I know this is your favorite. <laughs> Me and her could not live in the more opposite place. I live in Las Vegas, where now it's cold. All day it's like in the mornings, it's 40. By the afternoon, it's 55. So now, and then the wind goes, it's like it's 40 all day. But anyway, so it's cold here, but nothing compared to what she goes through in Minnesota. She's at like below freezing and crap. I wouldn't want any sign that said let it snow either <laughs> if I live there. So she always says, I hate that let it snow sign. But okay, if you're in a farmhouse or French country, you guys, this is fabulous. And I don't do a damn thing to it. I just love it. I hang them all over the place. Um, you could do a DIY where you attach it to a, a major board and this is a part of it. Put two of the long signs together and then place that on top of there with maybe something else. I may want to do that with one of them, but anyway, I have them hanging up everywhere. I love them. I think they're gorgeous. I think this looks so Hobby Lobby, doesn't it? Okay. I'm going to be careful. I don't want to lose my eyelash glue and that's something to tell you guys if you've never worn eyelashes and you like makeup and stuff girl start trying to wear them 
look at a few videos and then wear them because they are I cannot not wear them now I love the look I love the baby doll look I like the little deer look deer in the headlight look I'm just kidding I just love them so girl I'm 50 I wait till I was 51 years old to put eyelashes on ridiculous and now I'm obsessed okay I think I picked up a couple of these this is black mesh it's just hard to find this mesh stuff so I picked up I think I think I think I found four of them so I picked them up to keep in my stash um i picked up these two i think i picked up three others i usually try to keep six or seven of these these are the, the gold pipe cleaners i try to keep six or seven of these uh in my stash and the reason i try to keep this many in my stash is then i'm set for all year for any diys that i want to do any wreaths i want to do um and this way if you get gold or silver i always pretty much get gold then you don't have to worry about trying to match colors like you need an orange one or you need a pink one a gold matches every project right so, but they only have the package of pure, of just the solid color gold or the solid color silver at Christmas time. And like, if you want black or purple ones, you have to get those at Halloween time. Otherwise, you're always going to get that mix pack. And I hate that mix pack. They look like crap. There's all kinds of colors I'm never going to use. So anyway, every Christmas, I always pick up five, six packs of the gold. And then I'm set for the year with pipe cleaners. And then, I want to show you what matches this. Okay, I won't show you that yet. What is this? Oh, okay. I got one. Oh, I picked up a lot of these. I got one, two, three more of these. See? So I have eight now. I just do, you guys, I'm doing a lot of gnomes. Um, I do a lot of... Um, other things with these and I just like having a lot on hand because I there was a whole month I couldn't find these these um microfiber uh chiffoni furry things cloths and you get these in the um auto department yeah you know with all the man auto stuff you get that's where you get these oh and they're always in my stores they're always on a clip they're not anywhere else but on a clip um I picked up I was going to, I was going to do a, um, I was going to turn a witch's hat, Olivia's romantic home, she had the cute idea of turning a witch's hat, wire wreath, into a, uh, like an elf hat or a Santa hat, and I was going to do it, I ran out of time, and I still may do it here in the next week or so, so I needed the white to do that, so I bought white, bought four of them. And at this point, I don't know where I would put the damn thing. Because the house is decorated to the hilt. So, I may just wait and just have that as a project for next year. Because I don't even know where the hell I'd put it at this point. <laughs> I have ran out of doors. Every wreath has a door. Every wreath has a door. Every door has a wreath. Unless I did the bedrooms. I could do that. I don't have any wreaths on my bedroom doors. Okay. Moving on. My house is fully decorated, okay? The whole house is turned to a pink, shabby, chic wonderland. I need to stop is what I need to do. Okay, I showed you guys these mugs last time. Um, and I picked up a couple of more. I don't know if I should, yeah. Anyway. I picked up a couple more for gifts and just to make sure I have a couple on hand for myself because I love them. I bought two more of this. Known for the holidays. Are they so cute? Now, these were in, I told you guys I have like this little rack that's right next to my coffee station. It's a black rack. I wish it was pink. I should paint that. No, then it wouldn't match my kitchen for the rest of the year. Anyway, you usually can put three mugs in that. So I usually always, whatever my favorite mugs are and match my kitchen, I always put six in. Well, this only puts four. So I can put two in the, on the top shelf and two on the bottom shelf. So anyway, I got, um, Four total of this one, two of this one to go on there, and two of this one. Let us know. Isn't that so cute, you guys, with the hot cocoa mugs? These are adorable, and I love how they feel in your hand. I feel I love the weight. They have the same weight and the same build and how big they are um, as the ones from the 99 cent store. So, um, love these. So, so, let me just say, I have a whole bunch of them. 
more than I need. And But I'm going to give some for gifts, too. And I might throw some in giveaways, so. I wanted to say something about this mug, again. This beautiful mug. Okay. When I went there, if, if there's no price on it, it's a 99 cents. But if there's a price on it, then it's, at all, it's whatever the price says on the bottom. Well, the one I picked up didn't have a price on it. So I'm like, okay, it's 99 cents. I get up there. She only charged me 99 cents. Some of them had no tag. And some had a dollar ninety nine. So, um, you know, I'm not going. I, I didn't realize this time at home, but I'm not going back there. Obviously, they know what the hell they're doing. Okay, at the ninety nine cent store, some people thought they were dollar ninety nine. Some people thought they were ninety nine cents. Really, they're mugs. They should be a ninety nine cents. So, anyway, so just kind of be aware of that if you find this mug at the dollar at ninety nine cent store. Okay, moving on. Okay, um, okay, picked up, like I told you guys, I like to have a lot of these, so I picked up more. Um, I picked up, I don't want to take them out, but these, uh, boas, I picked up one, two, I think three or four of these, uh, boas, feathered boas. The feathers can go everywhere. They're the children ones, you find them in the children's section, yeah, they have them all year round. But I like to wrap them around wreaths, like that wreath behind me, you guys will see that up close when I do my, um, when I do my uh, Christmas tour, video tour, but there's a feather, a pink feather wrapped, two or three wrapped around that wreath. It looks fabulous. I did another wreath with, with it wrapped around. Um, I did um, the little white mini Christmas trees. I wrapped uh, feathers around them. Some of them I wrapped white feathers and some of them I, wrote, I wrapped pink feathers. They turned out gorgeous and I put two together. So um, they look really pretty. So you'll see them. So anyway, there's that. Just a second. I gotta grab more. I gotta grab more bags. They're way far away. Oh. Okay. How much time are we at? Okay. Okay. Now I'm glad that I saved. What's that? Yeah, here it is. I'm trying to avoid showing you something because I want to show it all together because um, it's a whole set. I'm glad I picked up a lot of these because I really like them. They're pretty. Okay, I'm really into stylus. I have them everywhere because of my nails. I have them in my purse, by every in the kitchen, one by my computer, one by in each craft room, by my by my bed. So anyway, I was short on stylus because I had a few broke or something. So they came up with these pink ones, you guys. Look at these pink stylus. It's a pink stylus and it's also a pen. Look how pretty that is. Uh, love these. Look how pretty that is. Hopefully you can see it in the light. Sometimes that ring light, I have a ring light, is wonderful. And then sometimes it just puts a damn, um, just too bright. Okay. I'm just opening it because so maybe you can see it better. I want to get a feel on it. Oh, I love it. See? It has little, like little, you know, fake thingy little rhinestones on there. And it's just a rose gold, a pinky rose. It's pink and gold. Absolutely love it. Obsessed. So I bought three of those. And then um, I bought, and this is pink also. It matches that whole set. I bought myself two packs of earbuds. I don't use them very often, but like if me and my husband are like, you know, in the evening doing something and I want to watch a little bit of videos. And he wants to sleep or the TV's on and I want to hear my video or hear something I can just put these in so yeah I need to get some all the ones I had I had tons of them forever I don't know they break and it don't even matter if you get the name brand ones that come with your phone they still break that's why I been buying the cheap ones now they last the same amount of time whatever um, I want to have these are the best scissors ever you guys get these in your life they're on the craft aisle. Everybody pretty much knows about them. They're super sharp. I have a pair in my makeup bag. I have a pair in all of my craft room in my knitting bag. So in my craft room, my knitting bag, my makeup area for my eyelashes, it cuts every... Oh, these are fabulous. Get these. So I have to get two more. And then I bought these cards. And this is the second time I bought these cards. But I also bought these cards because I want to do... Um, 
make little make little mini booklets and tags out of these cards for um my junk journal and my art journals so but look how beautiful that is wouldn't these be so pretty to um, frame? I mean, besides sending out to your friends and family. But look how pretty that would be to frame. That's my spirit animal, the deer. That's two of them. I love it. Isn't that a deer and a doe? So beautiful. Yep, that's my spirit animal right there. Love. The addiction to Dollar Tree is real. Let me say what's even more real is watching these Dollar Tree hauls. I am so addicted to watching the Dollar Tree haul. Okay, I picked up one, two, three, four of these. These are Epsom salts, and um, I actually use Himalayan salt if I'm, when I do a bath. I don't use Epsom salts, but at any rate, I got these for um, when you need it to look like snow for your projects, or if you're going to do a, a snowman. And I was going to do a snowman. That's one other thing I didn't get to. And um, you can use Epsom salt mixed with the glitter, so it really stretches your glitter out. Um, also, so if you're going to have to cover something big like a snowman. So anyway, I picked up four of them. I, I was, haven't used it, but it's in my, now I'm glad it's in my, um, it's in my arsenal. It's in my craft stash, so glad to have that. And if I want to use it for a bath, I can. Okay, I have picked up a ton of these. I've spent so much money on these. But this is, okay, remember I told you there's a few things at Dollar Tree for Christmas that are just steals, okay? Oh, I also think these mugs are steals. That's like Hobby Lobby time right there. And how heavy weighted they are, and this one too. These are Hobby Lobby um, type of, of uh, quality. Um, these. These are not the ones with the, with the snow. These are the ones with, like, the ice. Aren't they fabulous? The willow branches. You guys, get these in your life. I have a ton of these in my tree, and I put them in like this so they just kind of stick out from the tree. It looks gorgeous. The lights bounce off them. It looks like I have more lights on my tree than I do. Anyway, so I, they only had one, two, three, four left, so I just picked up the last four they had, but I've probably picked up 40 of these throughout the season. Every time I see them, I pick them up. So I put these in the wreath behind me, and they stick out like, they stick out like this all the way around. Um, so they're in this wreath. They're gorgeous. Um, they're in wreaths all over my house. They're in swags, little small swags I've done. Um, these will be around, I'm about to, I have to still decorate out front and around my door. So when I do my, um, greenery around my door, I'm going to put tons of flowers and ribbon, all that around my door. These are going to go in there too. So, I mean, I don't know if you want to spend as much as I've spent on buying these. Oh, also in my kitchen, too, because I have floral, pink floral arrangements to match my pink Christmas. I have these in there, too. So, I hope you want to spend $30 or $40 in these, but, okay, let me tell you. This is Hobby Lobby time, okay, or Michael's or Joanne's, not Dollar Tree. Okay, these are fabulous, and they these would cost you probably 3 or $4 a piece, not a dollar. So... Not that I spent 40, 30 or 40 dollars all at one time, but just throughout the season, I kept seeing them and I kept buying them. Um, I picked up, they only had one, I think, or two or something, and I already picked some of these up. Look how pretty that is. It's a rose gold. Um, this is a, um, oh, what do they call it? Poinsettia. But it's so beautiful. I'm not really fond of red poinsettias, but I like this rose gold. And to me, this can be all year round. Mixed with some white. Nobody knows that that's a poinsettia. It's said in rose gold. These are gorgeous. These are in my tree also. So I have them stuck in my tree also. You guys, my tree turned out really pretty. I spent six to eight hours on my tree. I put up in the morning. I was still decorating all day long on that tree. Now, mind you, I took some breaks and had lunch and stuff like that. But, I mean, I probably spent a good five or six hours on that damn tree. 
Mother was like, you're still decorating this tree? I said, oh, it's a process. I enjoy it. To me, it's all a craft project, so. I mean, to spend five or six hours, seven hours on your tree, you do have to enjoy that craft. Okay, I picked up two more of these. These are just candle holders. These are great. To, everybody knows. You can paint them. You can clear to make your tear trays. All other kind of projects. You know. You know what else is really cute is to take... Here, I'm going to do a DIY real quick. Take these and put them on the bottom of mugs. I used to give these away as gifts all the time. Isn't that cute? Now you can put that on your um, desk as a pencil holder or a makeup brush holder. Isn't that cute? It's quick and easy and simple and a great Christmas gift. Um, so I just saw, they only had two of them. I haven't seen these for a while at the damn stores. I always have a stockpile. I have probably have 10 or 12 on hand anyway, so I didn't need any more at this point. But since I haven't been seeing them and everyone's keeps saying they can't find these damn things, they had two only, so I just picked them up. That's something else. Um, that if I was you, if I find them, i pick up 10 or 12 of them if you do DIYs or you do any type of craft projects that you need those because when you need them, you're not going to be able to find them. They don't have them all the time. They run out quick. And more people are becoming hip to Dollar Tree. So, um, yeah, we're almost done. Okay, so I picked up, oh, I did pick up, a, oh, I picked up a lot of these. Remember I said I picked up five? Here's five more of the white and the reason I picked up so many was because this stuff goes quick so if I didn't use it this year I'll have it for next year or when I do DIYs for Easter or any other holiday that I want to have this mesh so I'm all stocked on at least the white mesh these are so cute you guys these must go quick I've never seen them before they weren't even in the craft section or in the floral section they were just in the Christmas section sitting just one so someone must have thrown it there they're little mini pine cones. Look how cute those are. Oh my God, they're going to be great for some craft project. So this will just be, I don't know what I'm using them for, but they'll be in my stash ready to go. Aren't those so damn cute? Oh, those will look cute just in a clear mason jar. Just as decor. Wouldn't that look cute? I may do that and just, and then they can hang out in my house until I'm ready to use them in a project. That would look cute. Okay, that would be count. Oh, when I was at the 99 cent store, you guys, I picked up three of these. I already have already used one of them or using one of them. These are gold straws. These would be really cute um, in your uh, hot cocoa or your uh, hot coffee bar. I don't know why you need straws when you're drinking something hot, but they would look pretty. So, but I didn't get them for that. I might put some at my bar. We'll see, but it doesn't matter. I got these because, um, I like how people are making boho beads um, for their art journals or their junk journals, and I do uh, I do both, and I'm mixing it right now. I'm doing art journaling and junk journaling together. It's really cool. So I have some videos coming up soon, so if you're interested in art journaling or junk journaling or the mixture of both, check those videos out. But on the outside, on the spine, I want to be able to hang some boho beads, but instead of calling them boho beads, you guys, I'm calling them fairy beads because I'm using all the colors that are like fairies. So, they're going to be called fairy beads. So, look out for that video. I'm going to have a video on how to make the fairy beads. And then, um, I'm going to continue on with my um, uh, artsy junk journal thing that I'm doing. I'm trying to think if I said that right. It's a mixed media art journal mixed with junk journaling. Because I missed my junk journaling, so I added my junk journaling to my art journaling. Okay. Um, here's another one of those signs where I told you guys I love. Let us know. And this sign sells out quick. So if you want this sign, if you think you want a couple of them, if you think you want to do a DIY with one or two or whatever, or you want to hang some of them, get them. This would be really cute to put in um, a wreath if you have a really big wreath. Um, pick up what you need because those do go quick. Oh, I picked up more of these. Yay! So I picked up five. I did clear the shelf on these. Now I remember these. Because you guys, these did not come to my store right away. I had to wait like probably two months. People were talking about these two months ago. They just got here to, uh, to Las Vegas. So people think that, um, they always say, oh, you always get all the best stuff. It's not true, you guys. I mean, 
I, I get good stuff, but I, thought, I have to really, really wait. Especially being on the West Coast. You East Coast girls, you guys get a lot of stuff first. I hear you guys uh, say that you don't, but honestly, what happens to me is we all on the West Coast, we look at the East Coast girls, and then we know in about a week or two, we should be able to get it. Unless it's something that's going to take us a year. Sometimes it does. But, um, you guys do, this, and I, I looked up Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is somewhere on the East Coast. It might be New York, you guys, that it's based out of. But it's East, very, very East Coast, which is why you guys probably get all that uh, hard rock. Or what is it? Hard rock candy? Rock hard candy? Whatever. Makeup. Okay. Moving on. All right. We are almost done. Oh, they had one. Okay, remember, these are the little ballerinas I told you that I think are just the best deal this year. What I did is when I saw these little ballerinas, when I saw these little ballerinas in people's halls, I went right to my Dollar Tree and picked up a bunch, and they were there. I was like, I picked that day. I picked up like 10 of these, probably 15. I think I did 15 because I knew I wanted to put a bunch on my tree and I wanted to put them in some wreaths. Mm -hmm. So I think I picked up like 15. I picked up 10 of the um, angel wings or fairy wings with the fur because there's certain things like this. And you know what? I did it right because you know what? I haven't seen these scents at my stores. There was one lonely one sitting there. So I picked up one more. This one is going to hang in my car. Isn't that going to be pretty? on my um, mirror. I thought that'd be pretty. Okay. Um, I picked up four boxes of this. I hope it tastes good. I heard that it tastes delicious, but the reason I picked up four more boxes, because they're pink. And it says, um, these are the, um, the coffee pods. You get four in here. They're the donut shop blend and they're by Grindworthy. Remember, those are the ones that I put in that pink, big pink plastic uh, mug at my bar. But anyway, they're pink. They match my pink um, uh, Keurig type of coffee pot. And I think they're beautiful. Hopefully, they taste really good. I'm going to make a cup of this today, this afternoon because I want to know what the hell this tastes like. Um, but everybody who's got it says it tastes really good. Plus, it matches my pink shabby chic um, hot cocoa station and coffee bar. <laughs> So bougie, huh? Bougie for a dollar. All right, I guess it's not that damn bougie if you're buying it at the dollar store. Um, okay, I told you guys if I because I missed out the first time like a dummy. I did not pick up these cool trims, but I'm doing so many DIYs and I'm not gonna stop doing DIYs. Next year on my channel, you're gonna see lots of DIYs still. Um, I'm gonna do some Easter stuff. I'm really excited about doing some Easter DIYs for my house. Um, I'm going to do DIYs next year and also my mixed media slash junk journaling. So those are three things, my th main three things that I will focus on. Um, so anyway, so I didn't buy these and have these in my stash. Then when I wanted them, I could not find these and they brought them back. So I got black and white polka dot, bought two of those because I do a lot of Mackenzie checks and Mackenzie checks. She does, um, black and white polka dots, black and white checks. Um, what else? Uh, the triangular, the triangle, the diamond one, they're all connected together. I forgot what that's called. Black and white in those. So I'm doing a lot of stuff like that. So this really, this goes with that kind of stuff. This is the, uh, farmhouse looking one, which I think is so cute. And you guys, I'm so excited. I'm turning my bedroom into like a French country. I'm so excited. All white. It's like different shades of white and beige, everything. So I'm very excited. So I will bring you guys along with that. So there's going to be a whole bunch of DIYs because i got to repaint everything in my room. Beige and all shades of beige and white. I just ordered the bedspread. I'm about to order the, um, the curtains or I'm going to make them. I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm excited. We have like a little lounge chair in our bed, not little, it's kind of a big lounge couchy chair thing in our room. And um, that don't match anymore, except for my husband, because he's the main one, main one that sits on it. So we got to get a new one, okay, because that don't match what I'm going to do. <laughs> it was old anyway, so he was like, I need to get a new one. I go, yeah, and now it needs to be beige. I would love it to be white, but 
yeah, it, I, that's just going to get dirty too quick. Okay, here's a, a black and white buffalo check. I bought one of these last time I w um, was at Dollar Tree, and I got another one. So this goes good with the McKinsey black and white checks type of stuff I'm doing. And then I like to make um, the black and white checks, firstly for my... Um, for this uh, Christmas, I've mixed black and white checks with the pink in my Christmas decor, and it looks fabulous. But anyway, so I have that to match that up, or any of my projects, which I do a lot of pink stuff. So, um, finally, I took advantage of buying this damn ribbon. Because when I had a project and I needed that ribbon, it was gone. Like everything at Dollar Tree, any of the good stuff, even if it's not good stuff just gone okay i'm gonna show you this one more thing or two more things let me see from the 99 cent store okay it's just one thing okay really quick i bought three hats okay i just showed you guys i think it was one of my last videos where i showed you i was okay i i had done a video on how to alter these hats and do them a very shabby chic style you can make them as tree toppers you can just put them under your tree as decor you can put them in your craft rooms if you have a shabby chic craft room whatever okay a decorated, beautiful, shabby chic hat. You can do whatever. You can make them for gifts. I have a video. I I lost the video of how to make it, but I wanted to share with you guys. So I just took a bunch of pictures so you could see it up close. And you get the ideas of how to alter them. But I will do another video on how to alter these. So these were only $1.99. That had been not yet. $1.49. Um, at, and look how they look like top hats. They're not quite as tall as I want for a top hat, but they're pretty damn close. Okay, so they're only, and I made my other one out of a plastic hat from Dollar Tree, so I didn't mind paying the extra 49 cents, because this is a little bit higher quality, so. So yeah, I picked up three of them, because I want to do um, more shabby chic hats as projects, so if you want to do that, pick these up from um, 99 cent store. You can also pick up ones from Dollar Tree, they're just really plasticky, and this just has a better feel about it, anyway. Hopefully I'm going to be able to, I like to spray paint them white so I can start with a really nice base. The plastic ones spray up nice with the Rust-Oleum, so I don't know. I'm sure these will too. If not, I'll cover them with whatever. I like the quality of them though. Okay, you guys, I think that is it. How long have I been on here talking? Oh my God, almost an hour. People say they like my long videos, so I'm like, okay. Um, I think that's it. Yes, you guys, that is it. Um, congratulations. Was it Lisa? Let me make sure. Yeah, Lisa Contre Contreras. I think it's Contreras. Girl, don't be yelling at me if I messed up your name. Um, contact me uh, through my Etsy store. Uh, the link is below. Hit the contact on the right once you get to my Etsy store, and you can we can contact you there. Give me your address. And that is it, you guys. Um, Dollar Tree has so much good stuff, you guys. Oh, my God. Don't go there unless you want to spend money. I'm a damn mess. I got a whole nother Dollar Tree haul over here on the couch, okay? I'm so behind. So, anyway, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, you guys, do something nice for someone today. And remember, we are more alike than we are not. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Happy holidays. Stay safe.